week one is upon us once again and yet again we're going to be starting off with the green bay packers this time we're going to be in lambo though and we're going to see if we can find a way to come away with a victory here now if we're looking like overall wise defensively we're at 87 they're at 83 so we're kind of you know got a pretty decent you know disparity between the two overall wise all the way though 84 to 81 so hopefully this leans a little bit more in our favor we'll have to see how this ends up uh, panning out for us but first things first today before we get too far, far into anything we're going to choose the draft class we're just going to keep the auto generated rookies so we're going to have to see what they're going to end up giving us and it looks like off the bat greg gabriel is the number one prospect here in this one Offensive tackle out of Michigan. We know the Big Ten can have some pretty solid, you know, offensive linemen coming out of here. So, see how that ends up working out. Uh, looks like right now we got four quarterbacks in the top ten projected out of North Carolina State, Houston, Texas A&M, and Virginia Tech. Not bad, but let's hop into the uh, scouts. We got to get some scouts. So I'll probably just, you know, take a look at the. Well, we'll take a look at the region breakdown first, and then whoever needs to go, we'll let them go. So we got outside linebacker, defensive tackle, and quarterback as the strength of the national. Looks like West, we don't have anybody right now lined up. Outside linebacker and defensive tackle. We got well, we knew this was gonna be a heavy outside line. I'm pretty sure that one ended up like very strong. So yeah, looks like we're gonna have to pretty much get rid of every single scout we got. So so I'll cut back to this point uh, where we got everything lined up and ready to go. So let's get to it. All right, so for our regional breakdown, it's not really the best scouting out here. So some of these guys we really don't have much. For the most part, it's like one expertise, so I don't know. We're just going to have to kind of deal with what we got here, but it's all good. National Scout will be Tamara Park. She handles outside linebackers and safeties. Roll Moore is our two-star scout, safeties and quarterbacks, which that region was actually like good for both of those. Uh, Garrett Wells, D-tackle, interior offensive lineman, which I'm pretty sure that West region was only for like D-tackles. Um, then we got Ayo Deli going to be the central region offense offensive tackle outside linebacker and lamar thornton wide receivers and cornerbacks so yeah not the not the best i mean we were able to match up some match up some stuff but yeah i mean it was just kind of like eh, this one might not be the best for the scouting for with scouts so i guess we have to you know take a deeper look there but for us i think we can go ahead and move on to weekly strategy and if there's any player upgrades i'll bring you guys along if not let's get to lambeau field I believe after this game, we will unlock the identity of what Isaiah Craig is going to be. So we'll see if he's star, superstar, or hopefully X Factor. You never know. But I, believe, I think Gallery, our defensive end, we're going to have to wait a little bit more on. I think he might need a couple games to get there. But he might be able, we might be able to get that to him. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm going to go ahead and get gold here for Isaiah Craig. And we'll move on. Gallery said he ready. He ready. For week one versus the Packers. All right, Jamal, let's go. Well, that's not good. Looks like we will be going into this game without Tyreek Stevenson. Suffered a back strain. Man, that is not good to have going into week one. So, I guess we're going to get plenty of look at, you know, Isaiah Craig and whatnot. But not good being behind the eight ball there. We got an idea what's going on with Herbert. Herbert's still dealing with that MCL tear. He's still going to be out another month, man. Sweet Jesus, that injury's been a pain for him. Packers do come into this game missing a couple of guys, but I don't think it's going to be anything serious. I doubt these two even start. So, Packers, for the most part, look like they're going to be full and ready to go. So, let's hop into this game. Let's get to Lambeau Field. Once again, the oldest rivalry renewed. See if we can come away with a win. Let's go. Well, we are back at Lambeau where we ended the last season. And here we will start off with it here. It's going to be Justin Fields yet again. He'll be going up against Jordan Love in the rivalry renewed in the 2024 season. Hopefully this season goes a little bit better. And hopefully the dude on the left right there ends up staying healthy. I mean, my goodness, man. Justin, if you fraction of the hip, dude, you're gone. Like, seriously. We have him getting hurt all over the damn place. But we'll see what we can do. Versus the bad team up north, the Green Bay Packers. Here we go. And it is Mike Tomlin's debut as the head coach of the Chicago Bears. Let's see if this one goes well. And we got another familiar face returning to Lamb over Sean Gary. We'll see what he does here. His return back. And this one will start with a touchback. And Jordan Love will start at the 25-yard line. Defense, let's make 
an early impression and let's shut this mess down let's go so they're gonna be starting more in a run heavy set here see what they decide to come out and do they'll come come out early in a pass and it's swatted away early on tj edwards all over that garbage yes sir love to see it it's like the jags who won the super bowl the prior year get smoked by the kansas city chiefs 38 10 on opening night Woo. Not a good start for the Jaguars. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Jordan Love. We're starting a five wide set. He's going back to throw. There you go. He's going to sit up, sitting over the middle of the field, and he does not want anything to do with Edwards or Edmonds on that one. He's going to take a scamper for six yards as he slides down. Let's see if we get early three and out. Who wants to get in there and make a play? Will they run into Aaron Jones? No, no, pla no place for Aaron Jones, and Jordan Love misses the out. Had a man in Slavisca Chenault. In the area, him and Christian Watson. I'm not, yeah, it looks like that was going to Chanel. And the newly signed wide receiver can't get his first catch just yet with the Green Bay Packers. We'll have Lonnie McCallum deep to return the rookie. See what he can do. His first opportunity in his first NFL game. See what the young speedster can do on his first return. And he'll get up to the 27. Not too bad. And Fields will have solid field position to start. See what he can do here with his offense. New regime. Fresh start. Let's see how this one ends up panning out for Fields and company. We're going to start off with a handoff. It's Travis Homer, and it's not much going there. Devondre Campbell is there to shut it down for a gain or two. Hopefully, Mike Tomlin has these boys ready to rock and roll. You know, he's a very, very good coach. We imagine he's going to have this team prep. And Fields looking downfield early on. Throws a pick on his first pass. It's Eric Stokes. Stokes trying to take it back. Odell Beckham and Cole Komet there to wrap him up. But Eric Stokes brings it all the way down inside the 20 and not the start to the season we wanted for Justin Fields. Already throwing an interception. Wanted DJ Moore. Couldn't float it over the head of the corner. He leaps high for it and brings it in. Bad start. Bad start indeed. Offensively, that is. Let's see if the defense can shut anything down, though. Come on, boys. Need you guys to keep stepping up. And that's going to be a run. Aaron Jones, first carry of the season, goes for a first down. Except 11. See if they run something similar here, though. Somebody need to cover 13 because it looks like he's wide open already. He is. Isaiah Craig getting involved. The rookie first-round pick makes his first career NFL tackle. You can see the draft class right there. Not many picks. We traded out quite a bit. Hopefully, we can see some of our guys make some impact plays here in this one, though. See if they run their fullback dive. They tend to run these fullback dives sometimes down here. And the run commit does not matter. Aaron Jones goes in untouched. Not, not a single block shed on that, man. Not a single one. And that is not a good start. The field's pick turns into six for the Packers, and they take the early lead. Right, McCallum will get his first opportunity here at returning a kick. And he's going to end up bringing this one to the 26-yard line. Not a bad return. And Fields, well, let's hopefully he has a better second drive than his first. Here we go, first and 10. We're going to line up under center here. Looking downfield under pressure, just trying to get rid of it. He's going to hit Roshan out the backfield. he pick up a gain of one. Well, it, it, it couldn't have went worse than your last start. Or your last throw. <laughs> That's for sure. Second and nine. We'll drop the throw once again. We're going to quick fire to Komet. Almost picked off again after being on the hands of Komet. Honestly, it was not the best throw either. Komet not able to come down with it. And it's going to make a third down and long. This offense right now not looking like it's ready for opening day. Third down and nine. Offensive line, we need you guys to protect long enough for somebody to get open. Looking downfield. Under pressure. Fields hit as he throws. And that is going to be an incomplete pass. It falls harmlessly to the ground. Lucas Van Ness and company there. Fields getting after somebody. It might be his offensive line, but it is now a three and out. A dreadful start here at Lambeau. Once again, Bears come up here and just seem like they have no clue how to play football. And it's a good point here, but unfortunately, he's not going to step out of bounds. He's going to get a great run back. Nobody getting off the blocks. And they're going to have great field position yet again for Jordan Love. Man, in motion. Got to expect they might be running right here. And it looks like they will. Aaron Jones, nowhere to go. Somebody got two out of that, but TJ Edwards will be there for the stop. Second nine and eight. Looks like they're going right back to the ground and nowhere to go. Montez Sweat makes the tackle. This first tackle has a Chicago Bear. It's a nice one. Going to bring up a third down and eight situation. Defense, let's get off the field here. Let's not allow anything. 
Let's get a quick three and now get the offense back on the field. Under pressure. Get him, Rashawn Gary's got his first sack as a bear. It comes on Jordan Love rolling outside of the pocket. It's going to set up a fourth and 17. Looks like the rookie Jamal Gallery also was starting to get some pressure. But it is Rashawn Gary getting off the block to get the sack. And, boy, we got somebody wearing number 54. Honestly, I feel like that number is not, like, it's not retired by the Bears. But I feel like it's like, uh, hey, nobody is allowed to, like, wear this number because of their locker. You know, the Bears have been told they cannot have any more retired numbers because they got too many. But here's a fourth down to 17. Let's see what McCallum can do if we get anything here on this punt return. Come on, McCallum. Give us a spark. Ah, we couldn't get away. Boy, that outside, it was beautiful. We had greatness right there if we could have got there. But Fields coming out for his next drive has not had much success throughout the first two. Let's see if the run game can get something going for us. It might have to be the way we have to move with this one. The handoff here to the outside. Devondre Campbell coming, and he's going to push Rashawn Johnson out of bounds. Only get a gain of one right now. This Packer defense is flying everywhere. Second and nine, we're going to play action here. We're going outside. We want Odell Beckham. And I, I guess he was out of bounds. Odell could not get the feet in bounds. Boy, it looked like we had him. Wasn't the most accurate throw from Fields, but did Odell really not get his feet in? That's a catch. Oh, there's got the right foot down and the left foot. Both are down. That is a toe tap from Odell. That is a catch, and we will be challenging. Should be a first down. I mean, he's got his. He's got two feet in bounds. There's no no doubt about that. Right foot down, left foot, toe is down. And that is a catch for Odell Beckham Jr. If it's not, man, you really need to look at your catch rules. They got it right, though. First down and 10 coming up. Love to see it. The one thing we do have to worry about on this D-line is going to be Kenny Clark. Hopefully he is not a, being a game record book right now, boy. The run game is literally nowhere to be found for us. We are getting stopped inside. We can stop outside. This Packer run D is going to make us throw this ball in. Fields is going to have to win this game. One shotgun, back to pass. Looking downfield, we got a man. It is DJ Moore who will grab it and pick up a first down. Here we go, DJ. Let's go. Might not be able to run it well, but we can still run play action. And we can still take the top off the defense. It's burnt. Razul Douglas gets beat by DJ Moore. If there's one thing Justin Fields knows how to do well, is throw that damn deep ball and throw it to DJ Moore, who's getting us the first touchdown of the season. Glad to have you back, JF1. DJ Moore being the beneficiary of the first touchdown throw of the season. It is a beauty of a throw down the field. Absolutely beat Rosal Douglas. And that is an easy score. We are ready to tie this one up. Tomlin, happy to see it. Your second down and nine. We're showing blitz. We're coming with it, but they're going to run the ball. Man, Isaiah Craig can't make a tackle. It's going to be Montez Sweat coming all the way around to make that one and save that one from getting any bigger than it was. Isaiah, you got to make that tackle, my guy. You're the last line of defense on that one. Rookie man got his first welcome to the NFL moment as Aaron Jones absolutely shredded him on that stiff arm. And that time we're going to be able to have Aaron Jones cut back inside and Aaron Jones goes down. Second and eight here. It's another run and that time Kyler Gordon's got to limit him to two. Aaron Jones getting a lot of carries here this drive. They don't have A.J. Dillon anymore, so not really exactly sure who they might have come in if Aaron Jones gets tired, if he ever gets tired. It's not even kind of windy right now, so... Here we go, third down and six. Let's get out the field, defense. And I, oh, we may have baited him. We do. Kyler Gordon's going to come away with the pick. Not a good throw or decision from Jordan Love. Well, both quarterbacks have now thrown an interception. Kyler Gordon comes away with it, able to hang on and get that interception. We kind of came down a little bit, baited him back to the running back, Aaron Jones, and he is going to come away with the takeaway. So this is Chenault, the one who brings him down. I'll be first and 10 from the 34-yard line. Love to see it, boys. There we go. Can't pass all day. See if we can try and get something here. Got Nate Davis on the pull around. Travis Holmes is going to pick up four. And that'll end the first quarter. Well, we're basically where, exactly where we started. We're tied up 7-7. And we're headed to the second. Let's see if we can get control over this one, y'all. Come on. Defense, y'all playing well. All right, third and four. Come on, guys. We got to pick this one up. Back to throw. Looking downfield. We got a man. It's wide open. It's Cole Komet able to get by and pick up the first down. We're inside Packer territory now. Down to the 40. 
If they had a way to get open, commit. Offensive line gave us just enough time on that one. We're first and 10. We're going to play action. Looking downfield. We got a man. It is going to be DJ Moore. Not able to cover his band. And this doesn't have the speed. And DJ Moore is in for his second touchdown of the day. Let him know who you are, DJ. Let him know. Yes, sir. Feels not the best throw there, but it ends up working out. Thankfully, Van Ness in coverage. We will take DJ Moore 10 times out of 10 all day, every day, and it's an easy touchdown. We take the lead, our first lead of the season, and Tomlin and Fields hype. I guess you can say hi. I'm in just a regular handshake. But we'll take the lead, man. That's all that matters. All right, Jordan Love coming out here after the pick. Honestly, their offense has not done much outside of just having the the interception that gave them great field position. But they are going to go back to the air here, looking downfield. And this time, he's got a wide open Hunter Henry. Isaiah Craig, the one who's going to make the tackle there. And they're going to move this one up to almost midfield. 24-yard pickup for the tight end. First and 10, they're going to go back to the air yet again here. He's going underneath. He's got his man. Tyler Gordon's going to bring the tack make the tackle. And Jones picks up four. Second and six, Love making some changes here at the line of scrimmage. Going back to the air yet again. Under pressure, and Kyler Gordon have a day. Coming in off the edge. Coming in there with the sack. Kyler doing his thing. Love a little slow to get up there. Kyler got, got a pick last drive. And now making a sack here. And boy, it looked like he was trying to get to that ball. Love got to put two hands on it, man. Might end up losing that one. Does Kyler Gordon have a... Happen the first half, man. Love to see it. The young dude stepping up. Third down and 18. Come get a rush. And looking downfield. Starting to get at them. Oh, no. We hit them late with sweat. Oh, my gosh. It's going to bail them out. Wow. Such a weak call, man. Such a weak call. Instead of fourth and 18, they're going to have a first down and 10 in our, inside our territory. Like, come on. Uh, that that's on me. I literally used it that. I didn't think he was gonna throw it away. So, <sighs> got lucky, love. You got lucky. Should have been. Should be our ball again, and y'all should be going down two scores potentially. First and ten. Now they go back to the air here, and oh, almost jumped it with Kyler again. Kyler is having a day, boy. The young boy is playing here. You love to see it, man. I love it. I love it, Kyler. Back to throw, looking downfield, and it's a misfire. Maybe a little miscommunication right there from Love. We sent some heat after him. Not sure if we really got much pressure on him or not. But now we're going to look to see if we can get off the field again. Let's see, make sure they can't really get in the field goal range. They got a, their kicker has a strong leg, so they might be able to with just a few yards. But Back to throw here, and it's a misfire again from Jordan Love. You love to see it. Good stuff, defense, after the rough and the passer. Not even, not even budging an inch. That was great stuff, and it helps. But a misfire from Jordan Love on a couple of plays, and they will punt this one away. And Kenny Clark has got his X Factor activated. Hopefully, that is not going to be something. So we got to get 20 yards to get rid of that. All right, second and 12. He's going up against Nate Davis. Oh man, we had Van Jefferson, but we will take Odell Beckham Jr. That's going to end up picking up a solid gain right there. Pick up the first down and moving the sticks to the 34. Nice to see Kenny Clark is not in the game here. We're going to go play action pass. Looking downfield, we got DJ Moore yet again on the sideline. He's going to make the toe tap. And Jair Alexander will push him down, but not before another first down up to midfield. DJ having our first half to remember, and it's a PCL spring. Uh, OJ Howard, he's going to get his time to get some get some action, the former first-round pick. And we're not running the Kenny Clark side. I can tell you that, but it doesn't look like it matters because we're coming in there screaming. With Devondre Campbell, but now Jair Alexander is grabbing his midsection. So he's probably going to be just fine, though. It looks like he might miss a couple plays. Second and 10 going five wide. Looking downfield. We're going to run a screen. It's Van Jefferson. Van has an opportunity to make something happen, and he will pick up a first down. Terrell Edmonds in cup while trying to make a play on it. Can't. And we'll pick up the first down. Van Jefferson's first catch of the season goes for 10. Second and seven right now. The offense is looking good. They've been humming pretty well. And we're going to take a shot downfield. One at Van Jefferson, not able to connect. Edmonds in coverage. And that's Phil's first incomplete pass, I feel like, in a little while. We've been, we've been doing pretty well on offense, man, getting some nice completions. Third and seven. Let's see if we can pick it up. 
Fields stepping up. Fields trying to get out of there. Breaks another tackle. What a play by Justin Fields. Komet gets a block, and Fields picks up the first down with his legs. May have been able to throw that one downfield. To, uh, I guess that was Odell down there, but I don't trust that mess, man. I've thrown it before, and my guys don't come back to the ball, and ends up getting picked off. We got a second down and eight. We're going shotgun once again. Looking downfield, we got a wide open Van Jefferson. Maybe not the best throw, but Van's got a first down to the 10. And Fields closing in on 200 yards passing already. Haven't been able to run the ball well, but the aerial attack, it has found life, and it is doing extremely well. Second and six, we're going to run play action. I'm just going to get rid of it to Roshan Johnson. Roshan trying to fight through Van Ness with a big hit, and somehow we end up picking up the first down after that. It'll be a first down and goal from the one now. Here we go. If we don't get in, this might be the final play before the two-minute warning. And, oh, boy. I... Yep, that was a mistake. Did not mean to hit all one on that one. A fake height. And that is going to end up backing us up five. Right now, if we don't get in, we for sure go into the two-minute warning. Yeah, just stupidity. Should not have done that. But then again, you guys cannot be, oh, my gosh, Kenny Clark. You guys can't be false starting either, though, man. Come on, you guys. I'm not exactly sure how long this drive has been. I know it's been a very long one. We started pretty far backed up, but my goodness. Right, this guy be one of the longest drives I've had in Madden. I'm going to throw this one into the end zone. Touchdown, Van Jefferson. He extends the lead, and it is 20-7 here in Lambeau. The Bears are looking like a new group right now. After that first drive throwing a pick, Fields throws a strike hit of Van wide open. They just forgot all about him. The rookie Sampson looks like he was the one maybe responsible for him in coverage. And we extend this lead. Tomlin, he's got these boys playing extremely well. A two-score lead potentially going into halftime. The defense is still looking strong. This could even extend even further out. 21-7. It's looking great here in Lambeau. 14 play, 86-yard drive. Man, I don't even know. How, I didn't get a chance to see how much time came out the clock on that one, but good grief. First and 10, back to throw here. And, oh, boy, they got a wide open man, but he didn't see it. And, oh, what a grab from Luke Musgrave. Not a good throw at all from Jordan Love. Musgrave bailing him out. And, boy, we are not in a good defensive formation at all. We're in a base 3-4. Back to pass, looking downfield. Once again, he's rolling out, taking a shot downfield. Got a man, and it's dropped. Hunter Henry can't hang on. Eddie Jackson able to, to make a play on the ball to jar it loose. You know what? Third down and nine. We're going to come at them. Right now, he seems a little scattered. A little paranoid in that pocket. Taking a few hits. Third down and nine. Oh, they're going to set up a screen here. They're going to have it. Aaron Jones. But Eddie Jackson, maybe not known for his tackling, comes up, makes the play. And is going to lose a couple of yards on that one. Great play, Eddie Jackson, to sniff it out. Great play call from the floor. Because we sent them all, we pretty much sent all our blitz right there. But Eddie able to read it, diagnose it, and get the play. First down and 10 here, Fields. Shotgun. We're going to see if we can go up three scores here before half. And we are getting sacked. Oh, Fields put the ball on the turf. Somebody get it. That's not a Packer. Preston Smith's got it. Fields goes down. Kenny Clark and company there knocks it loose. The second turnover for Fields on the day. We just couldn't get rid of that ball, Fields. You got to be better with that ball. Van Ness, the one who's going to punch it out of there and force the fumble. And Fields, man, you can't just be holding the ball like that, man. That is just awful. First and 10, though, now great field position once again for the Packers the second time today. And it's a misfire. Had a touchdown throw right there. That's for defense. Y'all got to log in. A touchdown here will get Green Bay feeling good going into halftime. Even though their offense really hasn't driven the field on us. But here goes a back to throw. Oh, my goodness. Kyler Gordon. And there, there goes the touchdown. Dontavian Wicks is into the end zone. Not sure what happened on that right side of the field. They ran a streak. I think it was just because we had Gordon in a hard flat. But <sighs> that's annoying. Gordon covered the right person. But we got to get better coverage from our safety help. Seriously, had all the momentum in this game. Like, these turnovers, dude, you can't have them. Here's a first down in 10. Dropping back to throw here. And, oh, it's another dangerous throw. It's going to end up incomplete. The rookie Samson had his first career pick in his hands but can't hang on. Third nine. Can we pick it up? 
Looking downfield, taking a shot. One DJ Moore. That one does get picked off by Samson. Came out of nowhere, flashes over. And oh my gosh, a third turnover, a second pick, and back to back drives giving Green Bay great field position in our territory. James Sampson from the middle of the field didn't even see, honestly didn't even see him. Saw DJ Moore got got by and Sampson flashes over to snag it. Not gonna drop that one though. Oh boy. Well, we are literally shooting ourselves in the foot right now. Down here, dropping back to throw. He's gonna hit his man underneath. Hunter Henry somehow just whips off the tackle. And it's gonna bring up first and ten. Will they get this snap off? They will. They're gonna end up throwing it out the back of the end zone, and they will settle for a field goal to take a 21-17 deficit into halftime. All right, well, second half is underway here. Lonnie McCallum deep to return, and McCallum's got a breakthrough. McCallum will start off the second half with a bang. Quandre Walker won't catch him this time. It is a 100-yard kick return to start the second half. Get the momentum right back on our side, man. You love to see it. I'm going to get a bench press as the little celebration right there. Great stuff. Rookie Lonnie McCallum coming through with the big return. And honestly, Lonnie might be one of the rookies that we see the most out of just because he is a return specialist. Now, we'll see Isaiah Craig, of course, on defense. And Jamal Gallery. don't know how often we'll see him. I mean, that the way Madden's D-line works, man, they, they either do do anything or they don't. So... We have to end up seeing how that one ends up working out. But Lonnie McCallum, how about that to start the second half? How to hush this Green Bay crowd up who thinking they were about to get a comeback. Honestly, that might be best for us, boy. Because right now, the way Fields is playing, granted, most of the use user air. But the way he's playing, uh-uh. I think, I think it, it was best that he might need to not come out for the start of the second half. As this one, under pressure, is Jordan Love. And we were trying to take his head off. Try to take it. Try to put Love into an early retirement. Oh, Gordon couldn't flash over again. Big hit from Edmonds, but it doesn't matter. Chenault has a first down grab. And then our territory once again. Chenault's first catch of the day. <sighs> Kyle just couldn't cover him long enough, man. He was he was there. He just didn't couldn't be more sticky. And that is a run. Aaron Jones picks up a first down. Aaron Jones breaks a tackle. Isaiah Craig, the last line of defense, can't get there in time. And it is a touchdown for Aaron Jones. Isaiah Craig, unfortunately, just didn't have, He's got the speed to catch up with Aaron Jones. He should have never been outran right there. I'm not sure why. I mean, he's got, like, literally like 95 speed. Like, how he got by him, I'm not sure. But unfortunately, the missed tackle right there, Jalen Johnson, not able to make the play and just not the best pursuit angle either. And they're going to go for two now. Defense down to lock in. Where they go to the air, they will go to the air here. And they're going to get two-point conversion. Kind of ran like a pick play. Well, two quick scores here to start the third quarter, and boy, we're we're in a shootout now. All right, Lonnie McCallum, let's see what you can do here. Can you get another one, Lonnie? Trying to break through, gonna get up to the 24-yard line, boy. He almost shot out of there again. But instead, Fields will come back out here, and hopefully, this offense can do a little bit better than how we ended the first half. So, handoff here to Roshan Johnson. Have not had much success at all today. Eight carries for eight yards for Roshan. This pack of defense, they focused on one thing, and that was shutting down the run game. Second and seven. Looking downfield. Fields needs you to hit the throw. He's got a man. It's Odell Beckham Jr. He's getting by Razul Douglas. Odell hit hard, but not before he picks up a first down. All the way to the 35-yard line. And we're ready to extend this lead back to a two-score game. Second and six. Going back to the air here. And just trying to hit our favorite to receiver, man. It's DJ Moore yet again. Picking up another first down. Fields up 250 yards passing today. First and 10 will go play action. Looking downfield. Fields under pressure. I would love to be able to hit. I guess that's Van right there. Don't know if Fields would have made a good, accurate throw. Ain't never know if a defender's going to end up flashing before our eyes. Let's see if we would have been able to fit this in. Well, it depends on the, accurate of the accuracy of the throw. Got out of there. I feel like whoever this is is probably going to end up finding a way to break on the ball. Yeah, they're going to have Roswell break on this. We may have been able to get this, but I just don't see them giving us that. I don't. Second and two. Going to hit it off with a draw, and shoot, that might be our best run of the day. 
Travis Homer picks up the first down, down to the nine. Second and goal from the four. Another run. Roshan Johnson's got into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. This lead extends once again. And we are finally back up two scores yet. Well, are we up two scores? We're up nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're up nine. So, yeah. Up two scores now. 35-25. And good stuff. Actually able to run the ball a little bit down there. Still struggling to get, like, more than, you know, maybe three four yards on every run. But, hey, able to punch it in right there. That's all we needed to do. And, yeah, up, up 10 points. It is a second and five back to throw. And they're going to end up picking up a first down. Luke Musgrave going to stiff on Jalen Johnson into the ground. And they'll pick up a first down there. This play ended up working earlier to get us a sack. Let's see if they are ready for it this time. Back to throw. Oh, boy. Oh, on the pressure again. Down it goes. Kyler Gordon does get home again. Jordan Love fooled on that one. Kyler Gordon, same play from earlier, able to get home again. Kyler Gordon having a nice day today. Already with a pick and now has his second sack. Going to set up a second out in 19 here. And they're going to run this from Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones has a lot of room to run. Isaiah Craig, can you make it happen this time? No, Aaron Jones is gone for 71 yards. How is Aaron Jones outrunning Isaiah Craig? You do not have more speed than him, I promise. Aaron Jones, 90 speed, 93 acceleration. Isaiah Craig, 95 speed, 94 acceleration. In what realm is that faster than, or is that slower than 90 and 93 acceleration? Man, do better. He should not be getting beat. He should have been stopped on both of those touchdown runs. Instead, we got a three-point ball game now. It's 32-35, an absolute shootout. Uh, probably have never seen really this <laughs> in this series at all. Well, not series, but like in this franchise's history. But we're going to have to respond. We're going to have to go toe-for-toe -toe with them, apparently, because good grief. Madden is just allowing them to do whatever the hell they want right now on the ground. First and 10 going to hand this one off. Roshan trying to get past Preston Smith. And next time he's going to run over Samson, but... Samson does a good job hanging on long enough. He's going to ride him out of bounds. And it'll be a gain of five. And here's a second and five. Looking downfield. Going to take a shot. One Odell. Odell's got it. Showing off the strong hands all the way down to the 49-yard line. Odell Beckham. Good throw from Fields, but Odell a better catch. First and 10 after the big play to Odell Beckham. Well, guess what? We're going right back to him here on the bubble screen. Great blocking from DJ Moore. Odell Beckham is going to end up picking up a first down all the way down to the 26-yard line. Fields closing in on a 300-yard passing day. And Odell Beckham Jr. coming up with some nice plays this drive to get things going. But that one doesn't happen unless we don't get a good block out of DJ Moore on that one. This might end up getting switched off, but it does not. if it does not, boy, we got a touchdown to DJ. It does get switched. Oh, no. Oh, well, hold on. Wait a minute. How Preston Smith get involved on that one? It doesn't matter. We throw it late, and DJ Moore's got his third touchdown of the day. DJ Moore have a start to the 2024 campaign. Let's go. You know he's glad to have Fields back. Somebody to get him the ball, and he is absolutely shredding his Packer defense. Where did Preston Smith come from? Quandre Walker was the one in coverage initially. Thought they were going to pass it off with the uh, cornerback. And the next day, I know Preston Smith's out there. Let's see what happened. Preston Smith is literally all the way down here. How on earth did you get matched up? Well, he ran all the way down there. Yeah, I'm thinking right here. Stokes. I'm thinking Stokes is going to cover him. We see it late. I say, okay, well, there goes Stokes. Stokes is actually going to run back. And then next thing, I look back to DJ. And so I say, oh, crap. Well, we need to throw this. And somehow Preston Smith got put in coverage right there. And the back shoulder throw to DJ Moore ends up working out. And oh, 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 what was that, man? Oh, ball is out. Montez Sweat's got it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what happened on that one. Christian Watson was hit, but it looked like going to the ground is when he fumbled. Yeah, that, that's a, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. That's an odd one. I imagine that is going to end up being a Packer football, though. And it will remain Packer football. Unfortunately, it is going to also be a first down for them, too. And when they get the playoff to end the third, no, they will not. That will end the third quarter. We're headed to the fourth. We're in a high-scoring affair. Who would have had the over in this one, boy? 74 points. I mean, my gosh. 
First down and 10. We'll see what Love and them decide to do. They're going to go right to the ground here. Love has been killing. I'm not Love, but Aaron Jones has killed us all day. 166 yards for three touchdowns. i am just absolutely been a menace on the ground. Second and 10. They're going to go to the air again, and this time Chenault can't hang on to it. Jordan Love has not been helped out by some of his wide receivers today. They've had a, quite a few drops here in this one. I'm not complaining, though, man. We will gladly take it. As it brings up a third down and 10, can the defense get off the field? Back to throw. Looking downfield. Oh, he's got a wide open man, but Love air mails it. Wild on the throw, and that is going to bring up a fourth and 10 from the 43. What will LaFleur do? He's going to send this one away, bringing out the punting unit. Kind of in no man's land. Not really in the best range to go for it either. And they will punt this one away to see if they can pin us. And that one's going to go to the 19. So pretty much works as a touchback. First and 10 handoff here to Roshan Johnson to the outside. And got good blocking out there from Odell to hold up Jair, who is finally back. I don't think Jair played at all in the second or third quarter, but he is here for the fourth. In the second down and five. Ran a trap play. Is going to end up picking up a first down. Roshan Johnson finally starting to get something to go on the ground. He's up to 36 yards on the day. First and 10, we'll go play action. Run, running's been working a little bit this drive. We'll hit Roshan out the backfield. He's going to be picked up by Quandre Walker. He is over the 300-yard mark here in this one after that touchdown pass. Second and four. Got some men pulling. Roshan Johnson's got a first down run, and we are extending this drive, moving along up to the 45. We're looking solid here. This is a good drive. We need to kill some of that clock off. Second and 10, back to throw. I think we got him again. Does DJ Moore got another one? Oh, it's knocked away. What a play coming over from Terrell Edmonds. Able to come up there and make a big hit on DJ that looked like he was going to end up finding another way to get a big play or score. I mean, Edmonds literally comes all the way from across the field. We may have threw it a little too late. But look at the range from Edmonds coming over to make a big hit on DJ. I'm mean, hacking the NFL. Shoot, you never know. They might call that for launching into the defender. They may have thrown a flag on that one. The way it is called nowadays. No, DJ Moore is out the game here for this third down and 10. We're going to see if we can pick it up without him. We got a man. It's Van Jefferson, but it's a bad throw from Justin. Ah, you got to make that throw, man. It's going to make a four down and 10. We'll have to punt it away. Took some time off the clock. Kind of able to flip field position a little bit, but unfortunately not able to get far enough. Here's the first down and 10. They're going to end up running this ball to Aaron Jones. Jones is going to end up meeting Edmonds and Brisker, but he's got another five-yard carry. I mean, he's ripped us all day long, and right now it does not look like he's going to be slowing down anytime soon. Second and five, back to throw again, and a big hit from Edmonds. Able to hang on, though, is Chenault. It's going to bring up a third down and one. Can the defense find a way to get out the field here? Tell you one thing, if I'm the Packers, I'm running the ball, considering we have not been able to stop anything. They are going to go to the air, though. And it's knocked down. What a play by Jaquan Brisker. Isaiah Craig had gotten beat on the play. Fourth and one coming up. What will LaFleur do? This is a dangerous area to go forward on. He's going to go for it, though. Here we go. This might be your ball game right here, right now. Oh, boy, we got not a favorable matchup at all. They're going to run the ball, though, and Aaron Jones breaks free yet again. Eddie Jackson saves that one from getting any bigger. And once again, the run defense for us has just been putrid. Aaron Jones actually finally starting to show some wind here. And yet they're going to go right back to him. Brisker not able to bring him down. Ball is out, and we got it. Let's go. Montez Sweat recovers. Was that the rookie Isaiah Craig coming in to knock that one out of there? Let's see. Who jarred it loose? Somebody shot in like a torpedo, and I believe it was. If it wasn't Isaiah, it was Jalen Johnson. But Isaiah Craig looks like it's going to be the one to knock that one out of there. What a play from the rookie. And it was Isaiah Craig who came in there and knocked it out of there. What a play. Young fella, wow. Coming in there shooting like a torpedo in to blow that one up. He's playing the pass and just look at the vision coming down there to knock that one out of there. Didn't even put the helmet on the ball. That is just all him just blasting Aaron Jones and Sweat able to fall on the heck. He really just kind of rolled into Sweat. Sweat is tripping over. It's like brisket and the ball just rolls into him. 
but we're not going to complain. What a hit. Isaiah Craig. You can tell Aaron Jones is bracing for the hit, too. But we will take it. Let's go, boys. That's how you do it. Let's seal this one off. Touchdown will pretty much put this one away. And oh, no, Roshan gives it right back. You got to be freaking kidding me. Seriously. Seriously, Roshan, you're going to give it right back? Oh, my gosh. Like, you can't make this one up, man. You can't. You can't make it up. And they do not have Aaron Jones in the game. And down he goes. Montez Sweat getting his first sack of the season. His first one as a bear. That's our fourth sack of the day. Let's go, boy. Good stuff, defense. No way to get home, boys. The second and 18 coming up. And, oh, they're going to hit us with the four verts. And we just look stupid with Isaiah Craig. Tackling way too soon. <sighs> Should have played on that side. We could have stopped that. Second down and two. Aaron Jones is in the game. See if they go to him. Oh, Isaiah Craig had his first career pick in his hands. Oh, would have been back-to-back -back drives for the rookie. To make a turnover and unfortunately not able to hang on it. Oh, he read it beautifully. He knew exactly what was coming. Unfortunately, not able to get there. It's a handoff. Nowhere to go. Blowing it up is Jamal. No, it's not Jamal Gallery. I saw the four. I just thought it was him. It's Tyus Bowser, though, coming in to make the play. And bring up a fourth down and two. You know they got to go for it now. This play has worked for us twice today. Will it work again? Unfortunately, it is not going to be Kyler Gordon that's on that blitz, though. But it doesn't matter. Jalen Johnson gets home. Down goes Jordan Love. We saw him a little slow earlier to get up, but this time he is going to stay down. And Jordan Love and the Packers stall out trying to extend that drive a little bit more. Let's go, defense. That a way to come up with another sack. That play has gotten home three times out of three. And it's, and it's produced three sacks. That is a nice defensive play. Is this one, Roshan, not in the game. We're going to hand this one off Travis Homer. He'll pick up a yard. Second and nine. Fair is going to bring a man in motion. Is Van Jefferson. We'll go back to pass. We're going to take a shot downfield. Go for the kill shot. He wants his man. It's Odell Beckham Jr. Kind of got bumped a little bit there from Eric Stokes. Instead, it's going to just end up winding up as a weak, incomplete pass. It's a third and nine. We're going to play action again. And Fields is going down. Lucas Van Ness gets his second sack of the day right before we could get rid of it. I bring up a fourth down and 21 here, and we'll have to send it away. Three and out. Not what we were looking for. Like the last name was Thompson? I don't know if this is a real guy they got or not, but it's coming in versus the defense. has been pretty, pretty aggressive, pretty hungry. They're going to start him off easy with a screen. Aaron Jones, who's killed us all day, not going to be able to get the first down. And that's going to end up being a gain of eight. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. The Packers trying to complete a 10-point comeback without their starting quarterback, Jordan Love. Got a man here. He's got his man. It's Jaden Reed. And right now, Thompson coming in, firing on all cylinders, looking better than what the heck Love was giving him. My goodness. And under pressure here, Rashawn Gary trying to get there, not able to get there in time. And it's the first incomplete. He has to throw it away. Oh, oh, that's stuck on the D lineman here. And he's going to end up, he even went to the end zone, got a wide open Jaden Reed, somehow got behind everybody. Not sure how that even happened. Like, good grief, y'all. Cover your man. Almost had a huge touchdown, just not able to connect. And under pressure, Michael Pierce. Good stuff, man. That way to get him. That way to get after him is going to bring up a fourth down and 10. At the starting three for three, he is 0 for three on his last attempts and now defense can we get off the field and put this one away here we go it's pretty much a ball game here first fourth down and 10 under pressure gonna heave one to the end zone isaiah craig can't come down with the pick isaiah's had two opportunities to get in his first career interception unfortunately not able to come away with that one it's not the worst case scenario because it's going to give us great field position but Isaiah, you got to learn to catch the ball, dude. You got to learn. Come on, my guy. First down and 10, they still have all their timeouts. We're going to run this ball. It's Roshan Johnson picking up a gain of seven. That's a good start. 
First down ends it here. Van Jefferson in motion. He's going to get this ball. Van just needs to stay in bounds. We couldn't really get anything on that one. Maybe not the best play call there. We're in third down and two. Yeah, I, I don't want to run to Kenny Clark's side. So we're going to run this one. Roshan, can he pick up the first? Not going to be able to get it. We're going to fourth down and one. We'll have to send this one away. Here we go. Here goes the first down and 10. They have not much going on for him here. 40 seconds. Got to go the length of the field here. And he's going to end up taking off. Sweat's going to find a way to get him. How did Montez Sweat get him? Well, he used that long 6'6 body. Able to dive and trip him up enough. And under pressure yet again. Here comes Tyus Bowser. And Bowser may have got away. What a rough in the pass there in the end zone. But we're not going to complain about it. There's 10 seconds left. This game is over. They don't have enough time to do anything. And the defense just needs to make another stop or two. Oh, boy. Christian Watson has gotten wide open right there. But another inaccurate throw. And Jalen never knocked the ball back in play. <laughs> Hey, that, that's not the smartest thing to ever do, but it's going to be with fourth down and 11. Here we go. They're, I mean, they have literally no hopes. Like, they, there's nothing they can do. This game is officially going to be over, and that is going to do it here at Lambeau. 42-32, a shootout, and Mike Tomlin gets win number one of his Chicago Bears career, and he couldn't have got it over a better opponent than the Green Bay Packers. F Green Bay all day, every day. Jordan Love got banged up a little bit there at the end. Honestly, he probably just didn't want to come back in dealing with pressure. Can't blame him. Kyler Gordon getting to him a lot. Jalen Johnson also as well. Skylar Thompson, that's who that is. Okay, so it was a weird guy. You started off three for three, but boy, then they went one of seven the rest of the way. Not good uh, day for Jordan Love, though. 63.6 .6 quarterback rating. 51% completion percent. He was under 50% most of the day. He should have had a couple more, another pick in there. But we're not worried about them. Let's look at Justin Fields. 114.2 pass rating. 65% completion percentage. 325 yards, four touchdowns, and two picks. Don't like the picks and the turnovers from Fields, but, I mean, it is what it is. Still got the win. Roshan, tough day sledding. Still ended up with 51 yards, but, man, averaging 2.8 per carry with both running backs. Yikes. Could just could not get much going on the ground. DJ Moore leads the team, though. This is a DJ win all the way. 151 yards, six catches, three touchdown grabs. Had a great day. Odell Beckham, I feel like his was a little more quiet. Got a five catch, 109 yard day. Another great, another good, good receiving day for him. Van Jefferson, three catches, 31 yards. Tyler Scott, only one grab. And Cole Komet, one grab, 20 yards. And we can't forget about Roshan with a couple of dump downs to him. Three catches and 13 yards on the day. Kevin Jenkins with three pancakes. Wow. So I'm guessing they're saying those sacks on the quarterback were on us. So they didn't deem any of the linemen for it. Tremaine Edmonds leads us in tackles today with eight. Had a couple of tackles for losses. Kyler Gordon came in with two sacks. Monte Sweat added on a couple more sacks as well. Eddie Jackson with a tackle for loss. Jalen Johnson also a tackle for loss. And Rashawn Gary only had the one sack. We saw Gary getting some pressure in there though in some place so not bad at all looks like the rookie jamal gallery also came away with an assisted tackle only one pick on the day was kyler gordon should have had isaiah should have had two picks here in this game instead he's got two deflections but he did have a really good day though forced a big fumble not a bad debut would have been even better though if he could have came away with one of those at least one of those man especially the last the last one would have been nice to have it's all good we're gonna end up winning this and oh actually hold on we got one more guy to look at i completely forgot but lonnie mccallum cribbed one for a hundred yard kick return baby you love to see that we might have a new kick return in here boys you know they they, they they do it well they've done it well had some opportunities in the punt return game too we were just close on a couple of those but that is gonna be a win for us and you love to see it I end up dropping my controller See if we got any player upgrades. Does not look like it. So we'll head into week number two, one and oh on the year. Taking on the Los Angeles Rams. We'll have our first home game of the season. And they're on one. So looks like us and the Lions end up getting wins. Is that drop my controller again? Good grief. 
Okay, so it looks like us and the Lions are going to start off 1-0. Vikings and Packers both fall to 0-1 in their first games. It's not going to be a, a, a long turnaround before we see Green Bay again. Literally week three. Literally just one week break between each other. And then we won't see them until the next season unless we unless find up meeting up in the playoffs. But that is going to do it for us here in this one, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the start of the 2024 season. If you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are new here, man, make sure you guys bang that subscribe button. To stay up to date with the Chicago Bears franchise and more as we continue to grind and continue to try to bid up the best team that we can. If you guys have missed any other videos, make sure you guys check out that playlist link. It's in the description. I'm out to next time, everybody. Hope you guys stay safe out there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless and peace. Close it out, future. Bear down.